It's 6.43. I'm here with Julie Sherrado with Furry Friends Rock and Rescue. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. How are you guys? We're doing great. We're hanging in yeah. there. You know, everybody's hanging in there. But you have an important event going on this oh, weekend. we're going to microchip this weekend. You bet. Yeah. So you're going to find us um, at Loving Paw Spay and Neuter Clinic tomorrow between noon and 2. And we'll be masked up. And we're going to keep you in your cars until you're the only one with your animal, cat or dog, in the clinic. And... You know that microchipping, it's cheaper with us than it is through any vet clinic. And the money goes straight back to saving animals here like yeah. Billy. And uh, we have a lot of money into Billy. This cute little uh, Sheba mix has probably the bluest eyes you could imagine. Yeah. She's adorable. She's a little fearful at first. So she does take some time to get used yeah. to a new family. So we're going to want to work her in. But she has got just beautiful eyes, a beautiful personality. She loves to cuddle and steal your pillows. She gets along well with other dogs. Um, our foster home doesn't have cats right now, so we're not sure mm. about cats. So if you fill out an app for Billy, we're yeah. gonna come over and work with you yeah, yeah. and see and see if it works. Cause she's a little go getter. And she's she a wants, sweetheart, yeah, but she, she's a, she's kind of spunky. You bet. Yeah. She's fearful and a little spunky until she gets to know you. Once she gets to know you, you're gonna be yeah. best. Buds. Yeah, absolutely. Because, yeah, she's a loving little dog, loves to play, loves to get out and walk, and just the most piercing blue eyes. Yeah, yeah. she's a beautiful little, little uh, Sheba mix. And real quick about tomorrow, uh, yeah. about Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, uh, It's already. $35 it per is. microchip. It and is. no appointments are necessary. No appointments. Just pull up. And if you're still there, you know what, too, we're going to keep chipping. Yeah. So we've got a wonderful team of volunteers. Uh, they are go-getters. And it takes five to ten people because wow. once we chip your pet, we're going to register it there right for you, yeah. which nobody does. Usually they chip you, send you home, and say, get on a computer, fill this in. We're going to have someone there to get you set up get your animal ready and, and it's easier to find that animal you know they get out of these collars sometimes harnesses you can see this little sheba mix too has both a collar and a harness yeah. on because she's a she's a little go-getter and uh, and our robert sir is uh is traveling pretty soon he's yeah. got a cat <laughs> Any advice for people with cats? Those well, are traveling in cats, you might need a sedative. We were just talking about that yeah. before we come on. And some cats love to travel, some can't stand it. Okay, so. real quick, any last messages for our viewers? Oh, it's a tough, t tough time for us for fundraising. So we need all the help we can get. So um, all right. Thank donate, you, Julie. donate to your local charities. All right. <laughs> Thank you very guys. much, Julie. All right, Robert. Uh, well, the weather is nice for getting our dogs out there. I don't know if you take your cat on a walk. Is that something you do? Oh, I tried. <laughs> uh, I tried early on. It ended in spectacular failure. Uh, we don't have enough time in the show to get into that as we just have about 15 minutes left. But if you're taking your dog out for a walk this morning, it's a nice morning out there. You can